It is February 10th, 2022, and you're watching The Code Report, the most trusted name in tech news. The neat thing about cryptocurrency is that it's trustless, and that means when you put your hard-earned paycheck from Wendy's into a crypto exchange and somebody steals it, you'll probably never get that money back. But simultaneously, it's not an anonymous safe haven for criminals either. Your classic lose-lose. Back in 2016, somebody stole 120,000 bitcoins worth $71 million from the Bitfinex exchange by accessing the private keys of users. Today, those bitcoins are worth $4.5 billion making the hackers some of the richest people on the planet. But there's just one problem. Bitcoin is a giant public ledger, and you can't move your money around without the feds watching your every move. And last week, they recovered 94,000 of the stolen Bitcoins and arrested the husband and wife duo of Ilya Lichtenstein and Heather Morgan. Ladies and gentlemen, we got them. The saddest part of this story is that Heather was an up-and-coming rapper. <laughs> At least now, she does know where she's headed. The couple is facing up to 20 years in prison for attempting to launder the stolen Bitcoin. It's not clear if they're the ones that actually performed the hack back in 2016, though. Documents from the Department of Justice break down how they would move the currency with a diverse array of transactions, like purchasing altcoins and NFTs, and then breaking everything down into thousands of smaller transactions, where the funds would eventually flow into a business that could fund Heather's music videos. They get an A for effort, but Bitcoin's not like a gold bar that you can just melt down and sell on the black market. On the bright side, though, many of my favorite rappers have done time in prison. Another big question here is will the original owners be able to recover their funds? Bitfinex already attempted to make customers whole by crediting them with a different token when the hack occurred. They are working with the Department of Justice, but it will likely be a very long and complicated process before anyone gets their Bitcoin back, if it happens at all. But what about your Bitcoin? Is it safe in an exchange right now? Well, the blockchain network itself is virtually unhackable with current technology. Crypto exchanges, on the other hand, are very much hackable. The thing about cryptocurrency is that when someone obtains your private key, they have access to all of your money and can send it wherever they want. There's no central authority to detect or stop fraudulent transactions, but they do implement other measures to keep your token safe. One is multi-signature wallets that require multiple private keys to send a transaction. The other thing they do is try to keep as much crypto in cold storage as possible. There are two types of crypto wallets, a hot wallet, which is always connected to the internet and ready to send transactions, and the other is a cold wallet, which is offline and generally used for long-term storage of your money. A cold wallet can only be hacked if you have physical possession of the device. Exchanges like Coinbase keep 90% of your crypto in cold storage. And because they're a big centralized authority, if they ever got hacked, they'd have enough money to pay everybody off. There are stories of crypto exchanges being hacked all the time, but it is pretty safe for most people today. But if you're really attached to your tokens, the safest thing to do is get them out of an exchange into your own cold storage wallet. Then move out of the city and learn how to grow your own food, dig a bunker on your property, and store the wallet there alongside your gold and ammo. This has been The Code Report. Thanks for watching, and I will We'll see you in the next one.